Good afternoon, Professor Yunus. So right now, the ETI chair is looking into artificial intelligence and new technologies. And so for that, we would like your opinions. Do you personally think that the, the advantages that uh, technology and AI bring us outweigh the drawbacks? I wouldn't say outweigh or anything. I, the way I would formulate it, I would say artificial intelligence, like any technology, can be a blessing, can be a curse. Today, some of the um, expressions that we see from artificial intelligence is moving very fast in a curse direction, uh, rather than concentrate on the blessing direction. Uh, the one particular one that I focus on is the uh, removal of people from jobs. So people who are already employed, already uh, doing, live, making a living, they are being thrown away from their exist existing jobs uh, and don't know where to go. Uh, the, day, uh, the estimates are uh, that in the next 15 years, nearly half a billion jobs will be gone. So that's a very high speed of people, so many people losing their jobs. Uh, question is, is this the right direction for technology that's pushing people out of jobs? Sometimes people make the counter argument, saying no, it happened all, all over technological changes. Uh, when technology comes, people are out of jobs, but they find other jobs and they continue in a better jobs. Uh, I said, this is a different situation. Here is artificial intelligence which is taking away jobs, which works in every direction. So if it works in every direction, if people can move to second jobs, they will take, take that over too. There's no reason why they should be left alone. Uh, and this will not be very well-paid jobs. So it's very easy for them, uh, artificial intelligence, to remove them from those jobs. So there's no place to go, no place to hide for people. And it will continue and becomes from a half a billion to a billion to more billion and so on. So this is not something which is uh, good for human being, uh, bringing technology to replace themselves. And when you ask uh, how they will survive, one answer is maybe government should give them a monthly uh, check, monthly uh, subsidy, so that they can survive. I said for few people, monthly uh, subsidy can sound okay, but for billions of people, it doesn't sound okay. So that looks like we are turning ourselves into um, beggars. We are waiting for somebody else to take care of us. That's what the human beings are all about. So technology is pushing us into a direction where our future looks very bleak. Yeah? And it, it may move us from uh, this planet completely, that we are not needed in this planet anymore. Uh, because artificial intelligence will become more intelligent than human being as we go with the algorithm and the machine learning and all that. Uh, then if they're more intelligent, 10 times more intelligent, they wouldn't think that the human being uh, has any reason to stay here because they look, they, to, to them we look like some stupid uh, pest running around the world making consumptions and fighting with each other. Uh, it's much peaceful for them uh, to get rid of them. It's a very simple thing. So this is the kind of a direction that we are moving. So this is a good time to decide whether we should use artificial intelligence in the car's direction.